Hi, I'm Scott Jacobs. I wanted to introduce you to my newest painting, Daytona Surf and Sand. So the inspiration for this year's Daytona piece, I wanted to make a companion piece to the piece I did for Sturgis, which was called We Ride Free Because of the Brave. So it had to be a wine piece. I've never done a wine piece for Daytona Bike Week before. So of course it had to have something to do with the sand, which is what makes Daytona unique over Sturgis. And here in the, in the Black Hills would be the mountains and everything. Uh, that would make this unique. And so I thought about Daytona. I thought about what's, uh, what's the thing that people think of the most when you think of Daytona. To me, it was the racing history, not only for cars, but for motorcycles. So we went online, we tried to find some props that we could use in the painting. One of them that we found was a brass buckle, which I have right back here. We found this online. So this is a, a uh, I don't think it's old. I think it's a reproduced uh, Daytona buckle. So I used that buckle here in the piece, which you can see over here to the left, and then the checkered flag, because the other piece had an American flag in it. So I wanted the elements of a flag, some props like I did here, and then of course it had to have a cork, had to come up with some kind of logo that would be unique to this piece. So we came up with the Daytona Winery, the DW logo here that you see on the box. You also see it here on the cork. And then you've got this woman here looking at the ocean because you can ride your bikes on the ocean down in Daytona. And it's very complimentary to the piece that I did for Sturgis. It's got the wooden box, it's got multiple elements, it's got a flag in the background. What I enjoy most about doing these event pieces because you have to, you have to make something that's relevant to the rally itself. And sometimes it's a timely thing, whether it's the 75th anniversary of, of Daytona or the 75th anniversary of Sturgis, it's got to be a piece that makes sense for that year in history. Like I remember when I did the, uh, the 65th or the, the 105th anniversary piece for Harley Davidson, I used 105th anniversary bikes. So it's a challenging thing for me to make something that is relevant to the rallies themselves. And I think this really makes sense.